welcome back. I'm Danny with Stuff I Kind of Care About, and today we are making a tool roll for Trey. Uh, my buddy Trey is a barber, and since I really have been enjoying this very poorly made little pen roll, I'm going to try to make him one for his, uh, his shears and combs and straight razors and stuff like that. This is, interestingly enough, actually the pattern for the tool roll. So, this flap is going to basically, if we're going to mimic this one, uh, it's going to be the same way. So, the top flap, the longer one, is going to be the lid, essentially. This one's going to be sewn in place. I've got some marks here for kind of where everything's going to have to go. Um, it's going to be interesting. I forgot to make this mark. So essentially I'm coming in a quarter inch from each side. Uh, and that's going to kind of just be my like hemming mark thing stuff. I don't know. Um, I'm probably... Oh, and this is the piece of leather I'm going to use. I'm going to show you that in a second. I'm probably just going to, like, baseball stitch all the way up to here. Um, and then I'm going to figure out how I want to sew the middle. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm going to kind of talk to you once I get this cut out. So what I did is, I don't have a piece of paper that's big enough for this, and I kind of had a, diff a few different iterations. So this is actually a couple of different seams of where I've taped paper on there. Um, so this is 8 inches, because his longest comb is about 8-ish inches. So this isn't going to be a firm crease, so he'll actually be able to kind of fold this over if he has one that's 8.5 inches. It'll work. Uh, what's going to happen is, is once everything's in here, he'll then basically be able to roll everything up. And it'll be like this. Now there are uh, shears in here, there are scissors in here, so it's not going to be perfect. Um, I kind of have it set up so that there's a set of shears here, a comb here, shears here, comb, shears, straight razor. So it should technically kind of go like this. Actually, you'll probably want to go from the... Anyway, whatever end you go from. Um, and yeah, I, I, I wrote the wrong thing on the back, so just ignore that. So what I'm doing is I'm using this big old piece of leather that I got today. Um, fun fact, black Sharpie doesn't show up really well on black leather. Uh, I'm not marching, marking the front side because I actually want that to be able to be nice and pretty for the roll. So I took this piece of scrap that I had sitting around and I literally just did this and then used a sharpie and outlined it. Uh, I'm using my circular cutter for this and I'm just eyeballing the cuts. Uh, this isn't going to be the prettiest thing I've ever made. Again, my stuff tends more towards form or function over form. Ha <laughs> ha! Not at all towards form. So I'm going to finish cutting all of this out and it's a really simple process. Uh, I will show you guys a line. Um, you do want to be careful when you're doing this that you are holding the leather in place because otherwise this can get really wrinkly and you can start getting some weird edges. So I'm just kind of trying to keep it stretched out in front of this blade. And that's what we're doing. I'm going to keep that scrap because I use scrap pieces of leather. So I'm going to cut this whole thing out. And essentially one end is going to come up like this. And this top flap is going to come over. I'm going to leave the inside raw like this. Uh, maybe. I actually should text him and ask him if he wants fabric on the inside or not. I don't know what I'm doing. Isn't that obvious? 
So let me think about this a little bit more. I'm going to turn the camera off and then I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll see what happens. Maybe it'll be awesome. Maybe it'll be absolutely terrible. Who knows? Hey, so I have this cut out. Um, there we go. So I rounded off the top corners. I uh, just took a, like a jar that I had sitting around and used it to trace it out and cut it. Um, I have punched a ton of holes in this thing. You probably can't see them because I don't have any lights behind me. But there's a lot of holes. What I did is I actually drew lines with black sharpie where I wanted the holes to go. And then I made this about a quarter inch short so that I could see the ends of the lines and I lined it up and then punched holes on both ends and then all the way down and I just used that kind of as a jig to run all of these. I also haven't done this yet but I have to punch a few holes across um, because I don't want this to uh, what's happening is, is I'm putting shears in here or Trey will be putting shears in here and so this three inch section right here is where the shears are going to go but I actually want to have this sewn up so that it's a tight fit for the shears so I'm just going to close off the tops here and not let it be you know a thing so we'll see what happens hopefully it works and if it doesn't boo so I'm going to go ahead and end this edit all this down to part one and then film a part two for Sunday's video. I just don't have enough time in the day. I'm running out of time and I want to get a video up for you guys. So I'm going to actually turn this off and start editing everything and trying to get that finished. Hopefully you're enjoying things. I am actually pretty excited about this. I hope it finishes out better than my pen holder did because this thing while I love it is not professional looking at all uh, since it's hand sewn it's actually probably going to look a little bit better than that one is but we'll see you never really know so thank you for watching if you're enjoying things please think about hitting that subscribe button uh, hitting the like button commenting let me know what ideas you have for me to do stuff in the future that would be awesome and I will catch you guys later